It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Monday, May 20th, 2024. Number one, President Joe Biden finally delivered the commencement address to more than 400 black men at Morehouse College. As the war between Israel and Hamas grew more violent, so did the humanitarian crises, which resulted in protests around the country, especially on the campuses of American colleges and universities. Reports indicated there was some resistance to speaking at Morehouse, especially as the Israel war expanded and treatment of Palestinians drew critical attention. But overall, there was little strife or resistance on the part of the protesters. Number two, the fallout continues following the publication of a New York Times report that a U.S. flag flew upside down outside the home of the United States Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito in January of 2021 for about three days before the inauguration of President Joe Biden. The inverted U.S. flag was a symbol of distress by the Stop the Steal movement used by some Americans as a protest against what they believed was a stolen presidential election by Joe Biden. Leading Democrats, including Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin of Illinois, called on the 74-year-old justice to recuse himself from two upcoming cases related to January 6th, as well as to Donald Trump. Number three, an ischemic stroke occurs when a vessel supplying blood to the brain is obstructed. It accounts for about 87% of all strokes. The main cause of ischemic stroke are fatty deposits or plaque that line the vessel walls. Fatty deposits can cause two types of obstructions. Read more about strokes in today's newsletter. Number four, on May 10th, protesters in downtown Canton, Ohio, demanded accountability for the death of Frank Tyson, a black man who died after an encounter with police on April 18th. Body camera footage showed officers restraining Mr. Tyson, who repeatedly said, I can't breathe, and they're trying to kill me, before becoming unresponsive. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. The officers involved are on administrative leave as an investigation continues. Number five, it's Ministry Monday, everyone. By definition, hope is an optimistic state of mind that's based on an expectation of positive outcomes. But in the Bible, hope is the confident expectation of what God has promised and its strength is in his faithfulness. Some people confuse hope with faith. They're not the same and they're not interchangeable. Faith is the result of current belief systems as shaped by experiences, whereas hope is the product of desiring a future outcome. So faith is in the now and hope is in the future. Read more about hope and joy in today's newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Positive energy means maintaining an optimistic outlook, even in challenging situations. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.